Gardens. Hi everybody and welcome to Zephyr's Travels. Mm -hmm. I'm Randy and in this video Diane and I are going to tour Brooklyn Gardens located just south of Myrtle Beach in Myrtle's Inlet. Oh, that's cool. The 9,000 mm -hmm. acre property includes several themed gardens with an American figurative sculptures placed in them, a low country zoo, and trails through several ecosystems and nature reserves on the property. It was founded by Archer Hilton Huntington and his wife Anna Hyatt Huntington. Brooklyn's Gardens was opened in 1932 and is built on four former rice plantations taking its name from the former Brooklyn Plantation. So sit back and enjoy the tour. Just read the sign. What the sign say? This way to the Welcome Center? Mm-hmm. Let me get you a map. Okay. You step over the big map here. Visual of all of our activities. We've got walking tours of the gardens three times a day, a couple of tours of the zoo, the Meet the Animals program, and then some excursions. And uh, we're here in the Welcome Center, and these are the gardens. And you're welcome to go through those on your own. Okay. If you want to do a, get a guided tour, uh, it starts from right outside. The next one's going to be at 2 o'clock today, but you're welcome to go through on your own. Down here is the zoo. It's a half a mile of walk, or you can uh, take the shuttle. Shuttle runs every 20 minutes, or you can drive and park down there. Uh, butterfly House is open, and you get tickets for the butterflies right at the exhibit. Uh, <coughs> Sit-down restaurant is here behind the gift shop, and then the old kitchen is open uh, out in the gardens. And if you look at the bottom of that schedule, you'll see our three uh, excursions. We've got a creek excursion on this little boat, and we've got a couple of land excursions. And <clears throat> you get tickets for the excursions at the Low Country Center, and the excursions are the only way to see some parts of our 9,000 acres. Okay. Oh, wow. And your admission tickets are good for the rest of the week, so just keep them in a safe spot. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Great. Okay. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Y'all enjoy. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Interest is this way. Laura Garden Fraser came up with the concept in her mind. She modeled it in clay. And then she did a full-size plaster model of Pegasus that she placed in this dry pool bed. Three, piece, <coughs> three pieces of granite were roughed out at a quarry, Mount Airy, North Carolina, hauled to Brook Green on flatbed trucks. 
placed in this dry pool bed alongside the full-size plaster model that she had done. She then hired a stone carver named Edward Ratty to complete the stone carving alongside her supervision. The entire process, from her concept in her mind to what you see right here today, took almost nine years to do. And at a height of 15 feet, three inches, it is the largest sculpture in the Brooklyn collection. There you go. So, what do you think? I think it's very nice. It's a lot to see. A huge garden, and I guess it includes a zoo. We yeah. haven't gotten that far yet. Yep. We can come back for seven days, so I'm sure that's what we'll do. Yeah. Maybe not every day, but we'll come back and see. <laughs> sometime during those next seven days, yeah, right? Yeah, sometime during those next seven days, we'll, yeah. we'll come back. Or we may need that seven days just to find our way out of here. That's true. <laughs> I did see a sign. Which way are you going? I don't know. This way? This way. Okay. You did see a sign that said what? It's pointed to Welcome Center, restrooms, um, I forget what else it said. Oh. But we're not too, we're in the general vicinity, I think, of the way out. <laughs> okay. So, it's a lot to see and a lot to do. So would you, is it a must see? Um, I think I don't know if it's a must see, but it's something if you're driving by or happen to be in the area. I think it is worth you know the time to to um, go through it. Yeah. What would you What would you say? I say I wait till we get back in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're in the sun today, that's what you need to be. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a, a little cool today and windy. Well, considering that, it, I wouldn't say it's a must -see, considering that many times we've been down to Myrtle Beach and we haven't really been here that much before. So it's really not a must -see, but it is something to see. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it that way. It's, I guess it's, you know, if you're in the area, and, you know, it's something you can, you know, today's a perfect day to do this. Right. And it's kind of, not beach day, so. I good think day. we're coming up on the Welcome Center. Yeah. We have seen quite a bit today, so. Well, I don't know if we're done today, but. Kind of drive over to the zoo. Well, that's true. We can drive over to the zoo. Well, now we're going to go into the gift shop. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
to the zoo? Yeah. This area contains sensitive natural habitats with some unstable land surfaces, alligators, venomous snakes, and stinging insects. So stay on the path, is what they're saying? Yeah. Okay. green one. That's a male. Oh. I wonder if they have an accent. Ah. We just toured Burke Green Gardens. So what did you think, Diane? I thought it was nice. Um, the gardens were okay. Uh, it's a long walk, so you have to be prepared to be, you know, wear walking shoes, which I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of walking. It's a lot of walking. You can take a boat ride or a tra um, tram. tram, but we chose to walk. And yeah, I, I enjoyed it. We went to the zoo, saw several animals. It was nice. It was nice. You really, you can take more than one day, and the entrance fee of $18 for adults gives you a seven day pass, which is good. So we'll probably go back and see some more animals. Yeah, it was it was interesting. I mean, it's you know, a lot of statues, and probably different times of the year it might be you know it would be totally different to go because of the gardens and such. You know, it would be in different bloom or whatever. Being the, in the fall, it wasn't as colorful for the gardens part of it. But, uh, you know, nice to walk around the statues, and the artwork and such. Yeah, but um. It's worth a trip if you're in the Myrtle Beach area. It definitely is worth a day. And like I say, you can do it in multiple days if you're staying in the area. Yeah. Well, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, and leave subscribe. a comment. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Like we always say, why haven't you? It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. If you like free stuff, this is a free one. And... 
That's about it. That's we're, about it. We're headed out for our lunch. Barbecue. Yep, we're headed out for barbecue, so we'll see you down the road. Bye. Bye. I know, don't put your hands in any of this water. I don't think you'd want to put your hands in there anyway. It doesn't look too inviting, does it? No. Snakes do live in that water, kind of water, though. Yeah. Have I seen them in there? Cottonmouth water moccasins, smiling boys and snakes. All right.